So far, you've been focusing on going fast and climbing into the air. So it's probably a good idea that we discuss landing in more detail. Normally, this isn't too difficult as you just make sure your wheels are underneath you. But there is one situation that requires more skill, uphill landings. This technique is very useful as you'll find increasingly difficult examples as you continue your journey. The key elements of this technique are rotating your bike to make sure you land correctly and then only using enough gas to steady yourself before moving on. The bike rotation is achieved by leaning from side to side and your aim is to get your wheels to land at about the same time. Just as the bike meets the ramp, lean forward to get your body weight over the handlebars. This will help you get balance and grip. You'll want to press the gas hard enough to stop you rolling backwards, but gentle enough to avoid lifting your front wheel. This is a skill, and you'll need practice before it comes naturally. The most common mistakes riders make is to either accelerate too hard and flip backwards, or to lean too far forward which will lift the rear wheel into the air. Trust me, you don't want that to happen. Speaking of that, if the rear wheel lifts, you've got no power. If this happens, tap the brake. This will bring the rear wheel down, and you can then use the gas to get back under control. The next track we've created will definitely test what we've covered, especially at the higher grades. Focus on the technique rather than going fast, and if you get stuck, you can always ask for help. Pay close attention to the bike rotation and try to land on both wheels. Don't accelerate too hard from the start. Just fall down and focus on landing on both wheels. If you bounce when landing, stop leaning forward for a moment and wait for the wheels to touch the ramp. Rolling backwards will help steady the bike and it will get you the speed required for this ramp. Press the gas gently and use throttle control to steadily climb the ramp. Don't accelerate too hard from the start. Just fall down and focus on landing on both wheels. As the ramp is steeper, you'll have to be a little more firm with the gas when landing. Have a look at how I do this. I only press the gas just enough to control the landing. You'll need to use all of the ramp to build enough speed to clear the gap. When landing, don't accelerate or lean too hard. Let the bike settle down and then gently accelerate. As the ramp is steeper, you'll have to be a little more firm with the gas when landing. Have a look at how I do this. I only press the gas just enough to control the landing. You'll need to use all of the ramp to build enough speed to clear the gap. When landing, don't accelerate or lean too hard. Let the bike settle down and then gently... bounce up in the air. Quickly sit back and then lean forward again, as this increases your grip when you land. Watch the technique I use here. Press the gas quite firmly, but only enough to maintain control. There's no easy way to master throttle control. Just practice until you get a feel for how much gas is required. Remember to respect the throttle control and the bike rotation equally, as you'll need both to land. If you bounce up in the air, Quickly sit back and then lean forward again, as this increases your grip when you land.
Watch the technique I use here. Press the gas quite firmly, but only enough to maintain control. There's no easy way to master throttle control. Just practice until you get a feel for how much gas is required. Remember to respect the throttle control and the bike rotation equally, as you'll need both to land. If you bounce up in the air, quickly sit back and then lean forward again, as this increases your grip when you land. Watch the technique I use here. Press the gas quite firmly, but only enough to maintain control. I've helped you enough. I designed this section to see if you learned anything. When you start out, these ramps can seem impossible, but keep coming back until you master it. Press the gas hard when landing, but ease off until you get the bike under control. You'll need to roll backwards if you want any chance of getting enough speed to clear the gap. I've helped you enough. I designed this section to see if you learned anything. 